Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's video is going to be covering the Amazon Smart Thermostat, and we're going to be covering in this video connecting to the app and how to use the app. It's a very simple process, but I want to go step by step. I also have a separate video that I will link down below and in the cards uh, when it comes to like manually overriding the unit, factory reset, as well as the basic setup and, and backplate and kind of go over the wiring and things like that. But Check out that video if you want to know more information about this, but this is going to be uh, just solely the actual, you know, connecting a device from scratch and kind of the use of the app and what's what's involved. So the very first thing here, as you can see, the device is connected, okay? Uh, very limited operation on the device itself. You have to use the app in order to control this device, okay? Uh, you Basically, you just have a mode selection you have three kind of dots on the unit you have a mode in the center and then you have an up and down okay to change your set point but like I said very limited operation okay all you can do is change the modes and then you know basically adjust your set point so in the app as you can see it's already installed but I will go ahead through the whole process of deleting this out showing you how to do that and you know adding a new device, a new thermostat. So just really quick, the rundown, we have the main you know, page here for the thermostat. We're in the heating mode. We can just click on that and we can select something different. We can go to cooling. Okay, and as you can see, it changes on the thermostat. Let's set that to like 72, something realistic. Then we can go back into the mode and do auto changeover. Auto changeover changes between heating and cooling as needed. You don't have to manually change the mode. Uh, very self-explanatory. You just go ahead and set your set point here. So that white bar is the actual room temperature on the getting it, you know, the temperature from the thermostat in that room. And then you can adjust your set point, okay? So we can just drag it and bring it to where we want. I'm just going to put it to 68 and 72 for the auto changeover thresholds. The other mode we have, we have, let's see, we have off, okay, so that's very self-explanatory. It turns the unit off, uh, no uh, no function there, but let's go back to heat, okay. Now it turned on, you heard the little click there, and we can go and adjust our set point, bring it to 72, gives us our current temperature, and that's coming from the thermostat. And we can click up and down here too. So we can we can either grab that the scroll bar here, the, the dot, or we can go up and down with these arrows. Same thing. Okay. Also on the app, we have the ability to edit the schedule. So down here below on the bottom of the page, you can go ahead and adjust your schedules. As you can see here, it's kind of loading up, so we'll give it a minute. Give it some time. Let's just go over this right here. So you can pre-warm and pre-cool. You want to set that on or off. I'm going to have it set on because uh, that way it helps it cool and, and heat faster at the dedicated time that I set. Uh, but this is having a hard time connecting for some reason. Okay, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to the heat, the actual schedule. Let's go over the settings, which is this upper gear icon here. Okay. And we have our fan. Let's go over that. So the fan, you have the options of auto, circulate, or on. Auto, it automatically turns on and off with heating and cooling needs. Circulate will circulate intermittently to just move the air around the house. And then on is indefinitely on, 24-7 on, three, 365 days a week. I mean, a year. Uh, it will stay on. So you want to make sure it's in auto. That is the correct setting. Then we have all these other options here control and schedules okay you can have it uh, choose cleaner energy energy dashboard it'll show you the usage things like that let's see here it gives you some information about vacation mode air filter notifications energy estimation things like that Okay, so you have all these options here in the settings. And you have a lot of information here on your main page. 
And that's also where you would want to delete your device, but we're going to come back to that. You can rename your device. Uh, you can, like I said, go through this and kind of explore what these do. But I want to cover the basics and what majority of the people are going to be worried about. And that's setting the schedule and, you know, installing the app and how to use it. So on here, we have our main page once again. And uh, we're at 72. Uh, this is giving us the the temperature we can select from. We can select from a different sensor as well. We just need to edit this right here. So it has different different sensors like the Echo Dot or Echo. You can add on to there. We're just going to back out of there. But that is the basic operation of the app. Okay, you have your, your manual controls here. And it makes adjustments to the thermostat almost instantly. Okay. And what we're going to do is actually now go into the portion where we're going to install this from scratch. So we're going to go to the gear icon. And we're going to just hit that trash bin but, uh, icon there. And we're going to delete, remove the thermostat. And we're going to start from scratch. So this will cover what you're going to see when the unit is brand new. Okay. Let's back out. So when... Okay, so now we're back at the Amazon Alexa kind of main page or home page. Uh, when you open up the app, we're in devices. So we'll back out one more time. So this is the home page in, in Amazon Alexa. And then we're going to go ahead and hit add. And then it's going to ask us device. So we're going to hit, you know, select that top one. And then we're going to scroll down here through the, the types of devices. We're going to go in and click thermostat. Okay, so it's going to give you a list here of different brands, and the very first one is the one we want. We have Amazon. Even though this is an Amazon thermostat, it actually is a Honeywell Home, which is also known as Residio. Honeywell Home is who makes this thermostat, but uh, like I, I can show you here on the on the box, as you can see, it's it's a branded as Amazon Smart Thermostat, but it's made with Honeywell Home thermostat technology okay so this is the unit right here that we're using but anyways let's go ahead and select amazon because that's what we have that's going to be the our guy and it's going to ask you a bunch of different steps and prompts has your new thermostat ha has been installed on the wall yet i'm going to say yes is your thermostat display on yes let's connect to the new thermostat to alexa yes we're going to hit next. Allow access to the camera. I'm going to say later. Reset your thermostat and put it in pairing mode. Okay. So putting it in pairing mode is basically holding down the center dot. Okay. And resetting it. It's going to say set. So I'm holding down the center dot here. For five seconds. I'll just do it once again. Five, four, three, two, one. Hopefully you can see that because the, the screen on that is kind of hard to see. Okay, so we picked up my thermostat here, as you can see. It wants to connect to Wi-Fi, so that's my Wi-Fi. Now it's connecting to my Wi-Fi network. The display on the thermostat is actually kind of hard to see. It's very, very dim, okay? That's just the way it's designed. Hopefully you guys can see it on the video. I heard it click, so it's doing. It's actually connected. Um, we'll just wait here. One Amazon thermostat found and connected. Okay, great. So we're gonna hit next. Um, you can go ahead and label this bedroom, living room, whatever you want, but I'm just gonna say skip. So it's getting it all ready right now. So as you can see, it's um, asking me, how do I want to want to control your thermostat? I'm going to say daily schedule. You can also have Alexa automatic control. I'm going to just do the daily schedule for now. Turn on energy efficient schedule. I'm going to say later because I want to do my own custom one. 
Alexa, can you choose cleaner energy? I'm going to say skip for that for now. Next. Start, smart thermostat is ready. Done. Okay, so we're back in changeover mode here. Automatic changeover, as you can see. Bring that to 68 and 72. Um, let's go ahead and set the schedules. Let's try that again. All right, so now it populated. As you can see, it gives you... You can select each day of the week. Okay, and then you can go ahead and each block and change the actual the actual time. Okay, and then hit save. All right, so moving along to the manage schedule screen. So this is gonna be the page where you adjust uh, your thermostat temperatures and like time periods of the day. So if you wanna program this thing, this is how you would program it for seven days. It basically allows you to select from each day, you can have different events on the bottom here, okay? And you can have different kind of time and, and time frames or thresholds and then different set points. But you have to break break it down into time and then the temperature set points is actually right here, okay? Preferred temperature and sensors. So you would click that to set your temperature for the home period, away period, sleep period, and so on. So let's just click on home. You would adjust your auto changeover set points right here okay so if we want to bring it to like 68 and uh, 72 we would go ahead and hit done after that that would take care of home then we're going to come here to the away we're going to go ahead and select you know go to 60 for away and um we'll raise the, the temperature there to 74 ish so you get the idea you adjust each one of the time blocks or time periods of the day to your liking and then sleep you want to you know adjust it for the, our sleep period, adjust it there, and then hit hit done. That gives you the temperature set points, and then you can go ahead and add down here on the manage schedule page, uh, the, uh, the different days, what you want the events to be, okay? So you, some days you can have more events than others, okay? And you just have to hit Add event, and then you can select it as which one of these you want. It would be another home, away, or sleep. And then you would hit save. Okay. So you just have to go through this and kind of like figure out what your schedule you want it to be and what you want the temperature set points to be and kind of play with that. It might take some time to figure out. It took me a long time to figure mine out in my home. Um, I ended up making an Excel spreadsheet uh, to figure it all out and kind of track it over time. Um, but once you... You, you have that information, you put it right in your app here, and then it will do it for you automatically and set your, your schedule and your temperature. But that's the Manage Schedule screen. It's really simple. Um, as you can see, we're back to the home screen. Very simple operation. You need this app in order to operate this device, and uh, there's really no other way of doing it. You know, there's, that's, that's what it comes to when you want to do some of the more advanced options here and notifications. Okay, gives you all your information and energy usage, energy dashboard. Um, and, and like I said, that's where you would want to delete your devices right up in here in your settings. If you want to start over again or add another one or another sensor. Um, but this is basically the, uh, the rundown of the app. It's very simple to use. Once you, um, you, you put it to use and kind of understand its practical um, you know, usage, uh, it's actually not that bad. It's actually easier to use than uh, some of these other apps, I can say for sure. The Residio app is kind of a, you know, was definitely more uh, in, involving to set up. You have to, you know, put your email, this and that, because if you already have an Amazon account, this is going to be very simple to set up. It was very simple. I thought it was going to be hard. It wasn't. Um, it was very quick. Within like a minute, as you saw in the video, two minutes, um, we had this thing connected and, and operating. So... That's going to be it for the video, guys. Please check out my other video for the manual override, factory reset, and kind of the basic setup uh, of this thermostat here. Um, like I said, this is a Honeywell Home, you know, smart thermostat, but it's labeled as for Amazon. Um, but I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.